<laughs> oh, wow. You can tell these guys are some hardcore Naruto's. What's up, guys? NGS here. Time for another video. I really haven't done a video on Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 in a while, so there was a new interview release, and I wanted to give my thoughts on it, so I just said, hey, screw it, let's do a video. So, you know, the interview was just, you know, a standard interview. They talk about, you know, what the game is, the anime, or how it looks closer to the anime. Fans are going to be surprised. Um, <laughs> and uh, a very interesting piece out of that entire interview happened towards the end, where uh, the head of CyberConnect 2 stated that Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 will be released in Europe, before any other country. <laughs> right from there, you can tell shit's gonna hit the fan with the Narutards. From some of the comments I've seen on forums, like, you know, forums is codenamed Drama Club, it's really, really fascinating, and it really shows you how stupid some of these Narutards can be. I mean, out of all the Tards, the Narutards seem to be pretty high up there, but out of all the comments there, you've got the people who are a bit pissed off saying, oh, that sucks. Then you've got the level-headed comments saying, oh, they get it earlier. So what? It's coming to America anyway. And then, whew, you have the Narutards coming on saying, what the fuck? Why does Europe get this game earlier than North America? What the hell? Does Naruto even exist in Europe? Yeah. You get those type of comments, and you, I frankly saw a lot of them. Um... For everybody who is, you know, pissed off that Europe is getting this game earlier, why? Why are you pissed off? I mean, Europe's getting the game a couple days earlier. What the fucking do? It makes no sense to start, like, you know, pissing on a country just because they're getting a video game early. I don't know if any of you guys realize this, but when it comes to releasing games, they are going to release it in the country where it's most popular. And I know a lot of you guys are going to criticize me saying that, why are they releasing it in Europe? Well, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but Naruto hasn't been the biggest shit on cable for the past two years. Uh, this has to do with the whole cancellation of Naruto on Cartoon Network by, you know, Stuart Snyder. It's not popular anymore in North America. Like, the only people that even remember Naruto are the fans who watch it online. Now, unlike America, where basically I'll be one of the first people, well, first hundred thousand, I, 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 first million to say that, yes, the Naruto dub is not what it could have been. There were a lot of changes made to the script so it could fit to the, you know, kitties in the audience. And um, just before I go on, I'm sorry if the quality is not that good. I am using a different webcam, so if there are any quality differences, whatever. But in Europe, Naruto is still pretty big when it comes to anime because, unlike us, they get the original Naruto Japanese dub with subtitles so there weren't any like wars between the two sides of anime saying oh the dub is better or the or the original is better If you hate it on the show in Europe, it's because you didn't like the show It's not because of the Japanese dub which frankly I think is pretty cool The manga sales are still pretty high in Europe the game sales especially for Ultimate Ninja 5 are still pretty good and I that's just the reason guys Naruto is more popular in Europe than it is in North America and I don't see why people have to, shit has to hit the fan because it's going to Europe first. Especially nowadays, when games are being released simultaneously within the same week, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's not like the old days when these games would probably never come to this country. It's not like when Europe got screwed out sometimes years for video games, where North America, like, they, they get it literally a couple hours after Japan. I mean, North America, we get so much stuff before other countries that you guys don't take for granted it's like you're saying that oh yeah Shippuden is so behind in the episodes you know we're only at episode 30 something well Japan's in the hundred somethings well a lot of these guys don't know anything about localization how long it takes to dub an anime and you know licensing and there are countries out there that have never even heard of Naruto and as far as release dates huh, Super Smash Bros Brawl in Europe anyone three month delay so if the game's coming out a couple days before Europe who cares we're gonna get the game eventually. Be happy we're even getting the game, you guys. They could have just easily said, hey, Naruto's doing better in um, Europe than it is in North America. Let's just slap it there with Japan. There have been more than times when that's happened to North America. Europe hasn't gotten all the Naruto games out there, you guys. So just because the reverse is happening to us, I don't care. And also, for any of you diehard Naruto's that just have to play this video game, it's gonna be one of the greatest video games in the world. Come closer. If you have a PlayStation 3, then you could just import this video game because the PS3, believe it or not, is region free. So if you have a PS3, you can just import this game and it's not gonna be like a five month 
delay you guys it's probably gonna be just a couple of days three days at the most 72 hours so if you really want to play this game badly and you cannot wait three to four days go import the game on your ps3 it's not a big deal it's only gonna be probably japanese dub english subtitles which is what most of the fans prefer and it's cyber connect 2's choice if they want to release this game in europe before any other country guys like i said naruto is more popular in europe than it is in north america that's why it's going there first and there are a lot of things that we can't control on why they're releasing games early in some countries sales localization popularity so yeah that was my little rant video on the people who are bashing Europe because they're getting the game a couple days early than North America. I personally think it's pretty retarded, actually. So, um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Storm 2, can't wait to see more updates on story mode, especially. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm NGS, signing out. Catch you guys later.